In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make any type of player booster mechanic, such as increasing your player's run speed or even the jump height using the same little script that I'm about to show you here. Uh, you'll be able to do anything you want. So let's get it. So let's begin the video by showing you how power-ups work and then we'll make one. Let's go ahead and we'll click play. And after click and play, um, what we're going to do is just hop into right here the workshop and you see that in here you find your player. So every player that joins your game, you'll find them in here. Um, of course, we're in Roblox Studio, so no one will actually see this stuff. But for the developer side, which you're doing, you'll be able to see this stuff. So what you want to notice is that there's always these things. This is a, like, like This is the the default construction of a character. This is my character in it. I have um, all this stuff plus humanoid. This is the key right here. So humanoid, if we scroll down, we see a lot of stuff that pertains to the character. For example, um, sit, if I click this, the character actually sits down because this means he's sitting. And then when we jump, you can see that this gets checked and this also change on here, air. All right. So if we're going to be creating a power up, um, we can notice things like jump height, um, walk speed. This is our regular walk speed right now, 16. If I turn this up to about 50, right? So all we need is really to create something that would change these values for us mid game. For example, we turn up our uh, jump height also to 50. And now we're like a superhero, okay? So you can see how simple it is to, to um, edit these values manually. Uh, if we change the health here to zero, <laughs> then uh, we die and then we would respawn. I think we respawn back with the default values. So basically, the task today is to make this happen while the game is playing without having to come in here because obviously your players won't have access to this stuff. So something in the game that would access the player's humanoid and make those changes. That's the plan. Let's get into it right now. All right, let's make a power up so that when we touch this power up, we'll gain um, a humongous amount of speed. First, we'll create a part. There it is. Pretty nice looking part. We don't need much for this. So we'll go ahead and just drag it right here. And I'll just scale out a little bit. Boop, we're ready. I'm going to just name it so I can find it easily later and uh, delete it and call it speed booster. Now I'm going to show you how to do speed, but you'll be able to do uh, super jump and maybe even mess around with the player health, whatever you want to. Like I said, anything from the humanoid, anything in there you want to change, you can change. Let's go ahead and drop a script on this script. Boom. And just like that, we're good to go. Let's make a reference to the block that we just made, which we call speed booster. I'm going to call it our, uh, let's call it booster equals the script parent, right? So booster now represents the script parent. Makes perfect sense. Let's link a touch. When we touch this thing, something should happen. So we say booster dot touched and we're able to um, basically connect a function to that when we touched it what should happen next let's go ahead and just write function open and close parenthesis here inside here we're gonna be sending what just hit us what just touched it so I'm gonna say hit hit will represent what touched it go outside this first parenthesis right here let me zoom in so you can see it. inside the first parenthesis then press enter you tap down for the sake of the tutorial, I want you to understand what's going on. So let's go ahead and just print out the word hit so you can see what's going on. We're going to get this going real quick. All right. So now if we touch that block, we should get a nice little log right here on the console. Already you can see that there is a log. And what it says is base plate, which is the floor because the thing is touching the floor. Now we're going to touch it. Now as we touch it, we got left foot, right foot. <laughs> Um, couple stuff. 
right? All right. So uh, in case you didn't know, left foot, right foot are all a part of our player. Let's check it out real quick. All the players in the game. Um, we go into the um, workspace, find a player. You can see we have the left foot, right foot. But the parent object is your player, which means if we go back into our script here, we can print the parent object, and then that will only give us the player's name, which would be my name. From there as well, we can go to the humanoid, which will be spelled with a capital H, humanoid. Right, and then from there we can go to the different uh, elements that we saw that you wanna, that the humanoid had. Let's try one. I don't recall exactly how it's spelled, so let's check it real quick. In case you don't remember either, I'm going here, find our player, find the humanoid, and the thing we want to change would be, let's say, walk speed. We see the capital W, capital S, walk speed. All right, let's do it. So now, in here, when the player touches it, we check the hit parent, we're in the humanoid, I should be able to say walk speed and set that value to something higher than it was before. For example, I'm going to go with 80. That would be a lot. Well, let's find out if this works. So, if all works properly, when I touch this, we should get a speed boost. And we do. Now, this speed boost is going to go on forever and ever. <laughs> so let's fix that. What we could do is a simple thing here. Make the speed boost happen, then have it do a little wait for maybe five seconds or whatever the case is, and then set this humanoid back to the default speed of 16. Let's check it. There you go. And one, two, three, four, five, and we're back to normal speed. And that's how you create a power up. If you wanted to do the jump height, then just go ahead and change walk speed to jump height and set it however you want. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.